community. Entrepreneurship in Ghana has evolved over the years. I think we've come out of a phase where it was difficult for business owners and will be entrepreneurs to start up businesses because there was a lot of political interference back then. I could say back about 20 years ago it will be difficult for people with my kind of expertise to express themselves in building businesses in the way that I have started to do. But thankfully in this new political dispensation that we find ourselves there's increased awareness for the need to have individuals and local people start businesses. The Beige Group, which I formed, is a private equity firm that is specializing in building businesses. Our hope is to be able to build world-class and very sustainable businesses from out of Ghana. Now, I am doing this with a lot of passion. And in the last five years, we've been able to create seven different businesses across different sectors of industry. We have establishments in real estate, we have in hospitality, logistics, mining, banking and finance. Now our flagship amongst these seven companies is Beige Capital, which is the leading, one of the leading savings and loans companies in the country as of now. That's an institution that we, we established in 2008 and has been growing in leaps and bounds since then. We are pursuing what we call a deposit-led approach to banking. We're taking Beige Capital everywhere banking is practicable in any form. If it's going to go there in a form of a kiosk, go there in a form of a big edifice, go there in a form of a mobile van, we're taking base capital there. By the end of 2015, we will be in every business district across Ghana. That's the first thing we're doing. We're also going to be evolving financial service modules that will be suitable to every person that is an economic entity. However, the level of business, that's the direction of Beige Capital in the next three years. A company called Brown Ball, which is a fully owned investment asset of the Beige Group, mines and alluvial deposits in the Western and Ashanti regions. But the company also is a mine asset collector. What we do is we currently are holding about five different large-scale concessions on which prospecting has been done to various stages. On three of them, we currently are processing a mine lease and we're hoping to look out for external partnerships to process these into large-scale mines. The mine share agreement as in what is in it for you and what is in it for us. Each of these concessions, I think the least of the concessions has a reserve estimation of about 500,000 ounces and about three of them have a reserve estimation of about 2 million ounces averagely and that's a lot of money right so if we have a partner that has the capacity to raise the funding that will be required to set up such a mine we're willing to hold minority interests in such a mine in the next five years, the Beige Group would have been a signature institution that is spearheading in the growth of entrepreneurship in Africa. We would definitely have succeeded in expanding the frontiers of our businesses in the various areas that we find ourselves in Ghana and beyond. We see a big opportunity for private and public partnerships in areas such as infrastructure development, banking and finance, and general community development and we see a big opportunity for the Beige Group there. Now our medium term goals are simple. We would want to enlarge the frontiers of our bank. We would want to roll out the city developments that we have in mind. We would want to start the partnerships we want on our mining sector programs and when those are settled we we'll move on to other areas hopefully in 2015.